Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about stored program organization in computer organization and architecture. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is addressing mode, what are the various types of addressing mode, what is the numerical example problem on addressing modes that we are discussed in the previous video. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. Okay. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is stored program organization and how it works that we are discussed. The simplest way to organize a computer by using two components the first one is called as processor register and the second one is called as instruction format. By using these two components, we are organize the computer in a simple manner. The first one is called as accumulator. That means the processor register can also be called as accumulator. It is one of the uh, special CPU register that resides in central processing unit. It is it can be used as temporary storage purpose. Okay. And it can also store the operands. Once we are performing the operation, whatever the result we are getting, that result is also stored in the processor register. Okay. That can be denoted by AC. That means accumulator. The second one is instruction format. So, instruction format is used for representing the instructions in the memory. Okay. The format that we are used to store the instructions in a computer, that format is called as instruction format. Generally, instruction format is either 16-bit format or 32-bit format. Now, this is the 16-bit instruction format. So, in that 16-bit uh, instruction format, okay, so it contains two parts. The first part is called as opcode. Opcode means what is the operation to be performed. So, it is in the range 12 to 14 bits. The second part is address part. Address part specifies the address of the operands that are stored in memory or a processor register. It contains 12 bits that is a 0 to 11 that is 12 bits. Okay. Next one is here opcode specifies what is the operation to be performed. To perform the operation we can require operands. These operands are stored in the memory or a processor register at a particular addresses. That addresses are specified in the address part of the instruction format. Okay. So, to perform the operation that is specified in the opcode part of instruction format, we require some operands. For example, uh, add a, b. So, here add is called as opcode and a and b are called as operands. So, here add is nothing but addition operation we have to perform on the operands a and b that are stored either in registers or a memory unit. Okay. So, whatever the operation that is specified in the opcode part of the instruction format, we require operands. Okay. These operands are stored in the memory or a processor register. 
at a particular addresses that addresses are specified in the address part of the instruction once we are fetching the operands either from the memory or from the processor register require that the specified operation is performed on the operands once we are performing the operation we are getting the result that result is stored either in the memory unit or in processor register now the memory unit um, the memory unit in the computer has this following format the memory unit can be divided into two parts the first part is instructions the second part is operands in the first part instructions of the program are stored the second part the operands are stored in the second part okay so whatever the uh, instructions that are specified in the program that instructions are stored in the first part of the memory unit whatever the operations that are specified in the opcode part to perform the operation we require operands that operands are stored in the operands part of the memory unit this memory unit contains a capacity 4096 into 16 okay that means this memory unit contains 4096 words 4096 words and each word contains 16 bits each word contains 16 bit length okay 4096 can be written as 2 power 12 okay so 2 power 12 is nothing but 2 power k okay so k is nothing but number of bits required to specify each and every word in the memory unit so how many number of bits we are using so that is 12 bits are used to specify each and every word among the 4096 words okay 12 bits are required to specify each and every word of the memory unit that 12 bit address address is specified in the address part of the instruction here 0 to 11 is nothing but 12 bits so these 12 bits are uh, are derived from the 4096 words 4096 can be written as 2 power 12 so 12 bits are required to specify each and every uh, address each and every address of the memory unit okay next one is uh, to perform the operation specified in the opcode part we require operands okay these operands are stored in this part the operand length is that is a 16 bit that is a 0 to 15 okay these operands are stored in the operand part in a binary format okay so how many bits are there in a operand that is a 16 bits are there for each and every operand that operands are used for performing the operation specified in the opcode part okay so processor register is a one type of cpu register that resides within the cpu okay so this is the simple stored program organization in computer organization and architecture thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivas rao for future upcoming videos in computer organization and architecture if you have any doubts in computer organization and discrete mathematics and design and analysis of algorithms and dbms please contact my number 9492704 500 this is my whatsapp number please ping me in whatsapp for any updates in my channel thank you